power pole. It's recording. <laughs> Hi everyone. We have Joel. <laughs> I cannot talk with that face. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit this. <laughs> Hi guys. Who are we? I'm Melanie. <laughs> She's still shy. <laughs> Who are you? She's not shy. We got some packages here. Give me her. You get the packages. Okay. Sure. Yeah. They got Melanie's name on them, so I let Melanie run this show. <laughs> oh, look at that. Melanie's got some chicken boots. That's definitely girly boots. I am not putting them on my feet. <laughs> show the... <laughs> Thank you. So okay. Melanie has some chicken boots. That's good because this time of year it's sloppy out there. Yep. I don't have... Okay, this is a lot of editing. Oh, Michelle wants to. Yeah, she wants to help. Yes, Michelle wants to help. Be careful, there's something in there. Happy face on the box. <laughs> yeah. Happy face. You can go ahead with that. Okay. Oh, don't get that, huh? Thank you. Take it to the shelf. That. You like that, don't you? It's just baby. Oh, Michelle, look. Oh, look at that. Pull that up for the camera. Oh, there's a book for you. Look here. Oh, see that? That's cute. Oh, that's a skunk. Those eat chickens. There's all kinds of. It's a uh, Counting Cute Critters. It's a book. Awesome. Oh, look at all that. Wow. There's more. Hi, Garnier. Thank you for all the gifts. All kinds of stuff. Let's see what this is. She's busy to the other one. Yeah, oh, she's got one toy for now. Huh? Is that some batteries? Oh, that's heavy. Wow. Yeah, we'll have to check that out. Is it a battery? Or a wind up, I mean. Look, Michelle. Oh, they're gonna, you can put the good Oh, you put them on. Oh, they're magnetic? Are they magnetic? Yeah, they're magnetic. Oh, yeah. Neat. That's really neat. Okay, Michelle has to be safe for her toy. Look at this. Look at the sheep. Lots of toys, huh? Oh, look at Michelle. Well, Melanie's opening that. Oh, there's a puppet. <clears throat> Dear Melanie and Troy, here are a few gifts for our sweet Michelle. I have included some farm animals she can cuddle, such as her very first chicken. She can learn to touch softly before she handles her feathered friends, lol. <laughs> you will also see a train set with a circle track, and on the bottom of the box is a gift for both Troy and family for helping to keep food on the table come fishing season. The book has recipes for Melanie to enjoy, and lots of valuable fishing tips and tricks. Also fish handling gloves, oh, so Troy can clean all of... Melanie's catches of the day. <laughs> Big LOLs, like Melanie gets all the fish. She always has a great day on the water, and yes you do, don't you? Keep up all the great work on your channel on YouTube. My family really enjoys your videos. 
Well, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Michelle, look at her. She's, She's enjoying really that already. Enjoying. Oh, that's uh, I forgot its name. That's a Winnie the Pooh thing. There's something. Oh, in you it. can put in your finger also. Oh, Michelle, look. Look, Michelle. There's something in this. I'm not sure what it does, but there's a bell. Oh, this is two. You want that? Let's get wrinkly ears. Really wants it. Thank you. Puppets. There's more. Oh wow! Okay. All kinds of puppets. She's gonna have fun. Look at that. <laughs> She's playing. All kinds of puppets. Oh, what's there? There's the train track. That's oh, for the train. Yep. Yeah, she has a train Ooh. to play with. Sorry. Oh, well, here, Michelle, you can take them right here. Well, no, I don't want to lose them in the couch. I'll put them over here. Thank you. It's a little shine. Thank you for the train. I'm sure I'll have hours of entertainment and fun. <laughs> hours. Buddy. Oh, there's some. Oh, I bet that. I wonder if that goes with the train set. Okay. See, there's people and things. Go. That's really cool. Look. Trees. Michelle. Yeah, she's gonna need this because she's going to be eating food now. She's got her first train. Oh, she wants to eat that. Everything goes in the mouth. How about we give her something better? Here, put one of your toys in your mouth. Here. Oh, there is toy. The There's the fishing gloves. Fillet glove. Oh, okay. Well, that's convenient. That protects your hands, I think. Excellent cut protection. So you don't cut your hands when cutting the fish. It's better to cut the fish than not the hands. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, weird. Storybook. She loves Oh, she's going to love this stuff very much. And the fish. Course fishing, a step-by-step -step guide. Interesting. So here's a lion. And now the lion has, let me see what's the lion got. The lion has, oops, let the turn page turn. You've got a death grip on that. No, that lion no, has it's elephant really feet. Itching. Oh wow, tying knots and baits. Yeah. Is that everything? Yeah. Wow, there's some good reading. That's a nice book. Um, I never claim to be an expert in everything, so I can always learn. Expert advice on the fish, how to find them, the best fishing techniques, manual of freshwater angling with 600 photographs. Wow. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Now Melanie's definitely going to outfish me even better than before. Hi, Carner. Thank you for your gifts for Michelle. Hey, guys. A little edit. We found a note. Um, about Melanie's boots, and there's a little drawing here. I'm going to show you Melanie's boots. That's really cute. <laughs> and uh, this is this is actually from the person who. Uh, this is from a young person. It says, "Dear Melanie, these boots are for you to help you to get eggs while keeping your feet dry." Uh, I won't read the rest, but we thought that was really cute and definitely deserving of of being read uh, out loud and uh, showing you. Hey guys, a large box just arrived. Amazon Prime. And I'm not aware of anything I have ordered, so we're gonna open this up and see what's in here. It's got my name on it. So I have no idea what we're looking at here. This is. Oh, 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 oh. What? Pure fishing distribution. 
This is sort of exciting, everybody. This is heavy. This is something, guys, that I've always dreamed of but never had. Oh, wow. Uh, oops, sorry about bumping the camera. This is waiters. Waiters, I'm going to show you in a minute here. This is something that can be used for fishing, hunting, uh, retrieving your stuff out of the wet, rainy yard. Something I always dreamed of but never had. This, Melanie, is for, look at that. How are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. How are you get it? That's taller than you are. Yeah, well, definitely it'll fit. So this, I gotta, sh oh, I gotta show that. Uh. How do you tip your camera? This is Melanie's camera. You see that? Definitely it'll keep me dry, <laughs> all the way from head to toe. So this can take you in some really deep water. Your camera is stiff. Oh, really? Uh, so this is rubber boots with protection all the way up. So um, actually in, in the spring, we can go out to the, the Great Lakes, right? And we can do the um, smelt run. When you smelt, there's a tiny little fish that's really tasty. And you've got to go out in the water. And you put on the waders, and you go out with little nets, and you, you dip them, and you get buckets full of fish. Uh-huh. Well, no idea. There's no note in here. So whoever sent this, this is really awesome. It is absolutely a dream I've always had. Real waders. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. He gave his smile. <laughs> earn it. <laughs> well, guys, it is amazing. Look at this. It's 6 o'clock, maybe, in the afternoon. What a day. Using the solar power today, I uh, cut my hair and I shaved with the power of the sun. These panels here on your battery bank, I took my chair and I went around the side of the house and I plugged into the power inverter outdoors on my off-grid battery bank and I cut my own hair and shaved I was looking pretty rough um, some of you may have noticed it was getting long and it was starting to tickle me I don't know how people wear beards because it was tickling me I didn't like it uh, anyway wow what a day made some wheeling and dealing today we went out uh, neighbor ran me around this morning the uh, wheel hub on the car is shot Sounds like an airplane going on the road, so that's just for emergency purposes only at this time. So uh, I hitched a ride with a friend and uh, did some paperwork for DIYTube.video uh, webpage. That's where my electronics channel lives now. Since uh, my partnership privileges have been gone, I got my own site for my electronics channel. So go check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, I copy all my videos over there too, but this is my primary homepage or my primary channel from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project right here still. Um, just that I don't do a lot of videos anymore because um, YouTube, my income is one-sixth of what it was um, and <laughs> it cannot be a full-time job now. So I'm still going to keep going and I'll let you guys know what's going on from time to time. And as the weather warms up, we'll be doing a lot more activity videos. You know, a lot more exciting things and projects and activities. Going to finish the greenhouse up here pretty soon. And uh, I got a projects in the wood shop going on and then the electronics lab. And we want to build a garden house. Um, we're getting ready to start planting. Although, we're going to have to have a greenhouse to plant our 
our stuff because don't forget up until the week after Memorial we still have freezing then we have about 30 to 45 days without freezing nights and then we start getting it intermittently again so we have to have a greenhouse in order to grow food this year or we're just not going to have any um, we are though because I did protect the tomatoes in the um, my improvised hoop houses we are still eating uh, from our garden the tomatoes we had homemade pizza today Melanie made pizza and with our own tomatoes you know sauce from our own tomatoes that's really cool it feels good to be having some some food from your own uh, processing uh, got to do some more chickens because we have some problem children out there we'll have to take care of so we'll be having some more chickens and we have 30 little baby birds growing up for meat so if the weather keeps going like this which I don't expect um, they're seeing snow for Thursday night so we'll see what happens but if the weather keeps going like it is right now you know we can get the birds out during the sunny parts of the day from time to time another week or two they'll be ready to start going outside from time to time and then uh, two weeks after that they'll be half grown and they'll be able to live outdoors in a sheltered environment in the uh, chicken tractor and then two weeks after that they're gonna have to be split up into a second chicken tractor the same size and I'll have to get a second chicken run area for daytime playing and uh, and, and running around but beautiful day got my um, um, working on getting all the paperwork done for the video site and uh, got mining rigs I'm putting together the mining rig business has turned out very well so it is supplementing our income and uh, if we didn't have that we would not have been able to make it through this month so I am very very happy I went out I went all out on a limb to do the mining business and um, yeah we would not have made it through without that so I'm very very happy we did it well that's about it guys uh, we got some packages um, that we've received so we'll show you that next and uh, I'm going to get inside and do a lot more work on a computer. Developing your own business like that is huge. It's a huge task and there's so much involved. But I just wanted to share with you the amazing, beautiful day we had. And, you know, cutting my hair with off-grid solar power uh, from these panels is just so cool. Well, outdoors, t-shirt, just like this. I just lean down and shave my head. I let the hair blow off into the breeze. And no mess, no problems. So it was great. Oh, and I went out and cut firewood again. Well, every one to two days I have to cut firewood because pine burns fast. We're cutting dry, uh, I am cutting dead, dry standing lumber. And the bark does fall off, by the way. Um, somebody mentioned that dead standing trees with the bark on is wet wood. Not necessarily. Um, it's, a lot of it's really dry and dead. You can feel. Uh, pine does not have any weight to it when it's dry. It doesn't have any uh, a lot of BTUs either. But anyway, I went out there. I'm going deeper and deeper into the woods on the second property with a wheelbarrow and uh, cutting wood and bringing it over. But soon, well, here we're going to have freezing nights all the way through, so I don't know what's going to happen, but um, we'll be reducing the amount of firewood we burn and reducing the amount of heating that we do. Um, the danger in that is the creosote level goes up. As you're damping down the stove more and more, the uh, stove pipes are going to have to be cleaned out a lot. But it is what it is. So look at this. What a day. I'd love to have a bonfire, but I've just got way too much going on. And uh, so I've got to get inside and get that going. It would be awesome for a bonfire tonight. So anyway, guys, we'll get to, to the uh, unboxing videos. And uh, stay tuned. Um, as the weather warms up, we will be doing more and more homesteading videos and projects and stuff, like I said. So, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project, enjoying the sun and the solar panels. Talk to you later. What a day, guys. What an awesome, beautiful day. Um, burning brush pile. It didn't burn because it's green pine. It was uh, partly cloudy on and off beautiful sunny warm 60 degrees Fahrenheit today unbelievable so amazing Melanie and I did some spring cleaning um, 
working around the property, cleaning up stuff. The wind out here can be pretty brutal, so uh, stuff gets spread around. A lot of stuff gets spread around pretty bad, so we're cleaning up. Really amazing day. I was just running around in our t-shirts all day. Incredible, like summer weather for us. Hey guys, got the little birdies out in the sun today. Um, it's 40 degrees, but they're starting to feather out. You can see they're starting to feather out. And they're not at all disturbed about the weather. They're asking for food, which I'm going to get them in a minute. They've actually been out for quite a while. And uh, we're going to clean the cage and let them sort of pick and scratch at some natural foods out here and get used to the outdoors. There's more over here. So they're doing okay and actually enjoying the fresh air. So 40 degrees and the birds are not shivering and don't seem to be uh, uncomfortable at all. They're not huddled up. They're not um, all together in one corner. They're not shivering. They are just happy as anything. So this is, I think, a week since we got them roughly. And they've plumped out very much and they're already outside in 40 degrees. Now they will of course come in at night because it's too cold for them uh, outside. But from now on if it's sunny, they'll be outdoors every day in their chicken tractor, scratching and free ranging somewhat. Um, there's still some seeds and some other junk down here they can eat. Maybe some early uh, season bugs that get up too early. And there's some, still some, uh, some grass and stuff. So they're getting some minerals and vitamins here. I'm going to get them their food. They're chirping because they want their food. They're spoiled. There, that's a fact too. Hey guys. Just sitting here watching over the birds. Uh, they're in a feeding frenzy just like sharks in the water. But somewhere over here and on the other side scratching natural food and stuff. And that's what I want. There's a little loner over here. Still sunning. Enjoying the warmth. But this is good. The, um, these are the broilers, the meat birds, and generally uh, farm-raised meat birds never get to see the light of day, never get to scratch in the dirt and pick at bugs and eat natural stuff and eat dirt. They, uh, they need grit to help their digestive system as well. So this makes them very, very healthy uh, meat birds. We had very good experience last year. But I'll keep this brief. Um, I haven't been on YouTube in a, maybe over a week. Some of the video on on this, um, some of the clips on this video were taken as much as a week ago. I um, I have my jaws out of place. It's the swelling is down pretty good, but the joint of my jaw is out of place and it's swollen. I woke up in pain one day and um, I can't eat solid food, I can't chew, my lips move obviously, but I can't close my mouth. I can open it a little and I can close it a little. There's a, a, a limited range of motion. Um, this one is out of place. And uh, I'm on my, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say a word that'll get my video banned from YouTube. Um, I am taking Well, I've got something to stop the pain, and then that has helped a lot. But Melanie is making a lot of soup recently, and it's hard to fill up. I'm always like hungry because it's hard to get full on uh, oatmeal, smoothies, and soup. So it's it's been uh, seven days. Seven days ago this happened, and uh, so I wasn't on video at all, and there's still a lump here. The, the doctor just told me to go rest and not chew and not have any solid food. So there's still a lump here and um, I don't know if it's going to go back in place on its own or what. I hope so. But I guess we'll see. But I still I, I can't bring my teeth together. I can't close my mouth. Um, I can close my lips but I can't close my teeth so I can't eat. Really um, not a nice situation. So the first few days I was really in a lot of discomfort and irritable. So I just wasn't on camera at all. And um, 
most of the video footage that you're going to see on this video, or that you have seen up till, depending on when, how I put this together, was from uh, previously. So that's that's it. That's why you haven't seen me around, guys. I don't know why. No idea why, but it's out of place. I can feel the lump right here. I can feel it. It's there's a hard lump right here. And it's just, it's it's out of place. It's not where it belongs. Whatever. And so, yeah, I was just told don't eat salad food, don't chew, and rest it. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to get this video up to you guys so you have something there. And um, hopefully I'll be back and, and, you know, comfortable with the camera again soon. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Try from the do-it-yourself world in the off-grid project. Hope to see you again soon.